welcome back. It's Leanne from The Dark Horse in Sunderland, Ontario. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to demo to you how to stencil on a pillow. You can actually stencil on pillows, on aprons, on wood, on cabinetry. Uh, we're going to use the Mutteritaville stencils. These stencils are made in Ontario. They're very high quality. They're 10 mil mylar. So that's a little bit stronger than a lot of the stencils you get. There's two bonuses to that. One, they're gonna last a lot longer. You'll actually get years of use. I've been using some of my stencils now for six years. The other thing is because they're a little thicker and firmer, they're also gonna stay in place and make it easier for you to have a successful stencil. So uh, what I'm kind of uh, featured today is the pillows. We sell the pillows on our online store. We have them in gray, we have them in red, black, plain canvas, lime green, kelly green, white, and burlap. There's lots of details about each of the specific pillows online and which ones are washable, which ones aren't. They all have a zipper and we also carry the inserts which you can buy separately. Every one of these is 20 inch by 20 inch. We don't like wimpy pillows here, so we like a nice good sized pillow. And our inserts are actually a very high quality. They are uh, wrapped in cotton and very, very fluffy. I can show you one end product here. And of course I've picked a stencil that we're sold out of now, but you can see just how nice and fluffy that pillow is. So our pillows start, Pillow covers start at $5.99 each. The inserts are $13.99. And then we've got stencils of every size and price as well. So I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to stencil today. Uh, whenever I'm teaching, which goodness knows when that's gonna happen again with COVID, the very first thing I teach everybody is zipper down, okay? So when your pillow is done, you want your zipper down. So you want zipper down and your stencil up. When you are starting and you're just learning, the other thing that I will often recommend is just practice on a piece of paper to start with. You don't have to practice on your $8 pillow. You can grab a piece of craft paper or a piece of printer paper. You can just lay it down. Practice on that a couple times until you get comfortable. So we're just going to lay it down, zipper down. I don't tend to measure because um, your pillow's never going to sit flat on the couch anyway. So sometimes in a case like this, I prefer to eyeball it. So I'm just going to get some painter's tape and just tape it down in a few spots. And I have just picked a couple of colors here. I've picked Coal Black by Fusion, and I've picked this really bright color called Azure by Fusion. If you're using Fusion Mineral Paint, it is 100% waterproof. So you do not have to heat set this, you don't have to do anything. You just let this dry, and you can wash, depending on which one you pick, if your fabric is washable, you can wash these. I have t-shirts at home that I've been washing for three, four years now, and you still, they look as good as the day that I did them. So Fusion is washable. Some other paints and inks um, are not, or some are, but they have to be heat set first. Fusion does not have to be heat set first. So I'm gonna do this, Norm, if you wanna zoom in a little bit, you can see with this particular pattern, I am going to uh, do the laurel wreath in one color and I'm going to do the word in another. So I'm just going to put a little mark wherever I think that that's just getting too close for me. And I've just decided 
that I will do my laurel wreath in black. So when you are stenciling, less is more. You're really not painting, you're dry brushing. So I've loaded my brush up and then I'm gonna take most of it off. The reason for this is you don't want your paint to bleed under your stencil, okay? And then we're just gonna pounce. see how very little paint I'm using. If you're just stenciling, our little tiny fusion testers that are $4.99 will last you a very long time. So I'm loading my brush up again, but then I'm taking a lot of it off. The other thing when you are stenciling is no peeking. If I go to peak now, I'm actually risking just doing that little tiny shift of my stencil and it can get blurry and bleedy. Is bleedy a word? I don't know. Sounds good. So I'll step back, have a little look. If you, if you weren't sure, you can go back over. Two light coats is always better than one heavy coat, but I think this is pretty good. Now I'm going to do my other color. So now I'm gonna move my tape so that I don't go over the black. I guess I could have picked a easier stencil to teach you with so that I didn't bore you for this long, but you're stuck with me. So we now have our azure. And again, I'm gonna load my brush up and then take most of it off. Oftentimes when people are just starting to stencil, that I they do this. You're not going to get any paint off. I want to hear it. So less paint on the brush, but a lot more effort. As I say, just think of that jerk that cut you off this morning while you're stenciling and give it a good pounce. Get your frustrations out. that's it. So we're going to lift up our tape and have our little reveal. I generally do not wash my stencils. What I actually do is about once a year I will soak them and peel the paint off but I do not wash them every time I use them. Uh, I find it lasts longer and these stencils don't just get used with me. I teach with them all the time. And so I'll just lift this up for you. And here is our pillow. That is how easy that is. So you could buy this stencil. You could put it on your t-shirt. You could put it on a pillow. You can put it on a canvas, on a board. Whatever you want, use it over and over again. If you've got any questions, by all means, just message us or email us and you can check out all our information on our site. Have a great day.